using this tempera paint i'm going to be engraving on the champagne flutes and i'm just using my paint with a soft bristle brush i'm putting a good amount of my paint to cover the entire area and i'm brushing that, that paint lightly and i tried to get it as even as i could i placed it to dry for six hours while it's drying i'm preparing my roller and this roller can hold very small items it can hold a round item with this extended piece and it can also hold a hurricane vase and the rollers are removable so right now i'm using the chalk and that's what i'm using to hold my champagne glass and i'm also using this extra piece that can raise the glass up or down to help me to level it and a small level was included in the package and here's my design that i created in canva I'm just lining it up on my glass and everything on the right hand side will be engraved. And that yellow line is a representative of where the red dot was on the glass. So that helps you to align your glass properly. Just make sure that it's straight. And I'm selecting laser cylindrical and I did the auto measure. I use my tape line to measure the perimeter and the diameter. I place those in and we're engraving and I'm changing the power to 90. And this power seems to work very good and the speed, I'm placing the power at 90 and the speed at 25 and this works perfectly. I like it like that. I've been practicing. I did a few glasses, messed up a few glasses before I present this one to you. Okay, so this setting worked perfect for this glass. I sent my machine to work and here's the final result. I think it came out perfect.